Intro, one, two, action. What's up guys, Fahan here with Za once again and welcome back to another owner's review. I know we've been delaying it but finally we found some time and here we have our good friend Edward. Eh? Hello. Yeah. <laughs> and he's been awesome, he's been following for some of our, of our rides as you can see. And uh, today we are reviewing his Honda CB Toner X. Now, I've reviewed this bike previously and a lot of guys they actually uh, commented uh, they don't really like my review uh. <laughs> why? what? yeah because you say it's cheap right? <laughs> no the one you say cheap was the oh, 150 eh. sorry 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 that's the one that a lot of people uh, complain about the, it yeah, yeah. because I say the word cheap too much eh. but to be honest uh, yeah. If you compare between the 200X and the 150X, uh, which one is more cheaper? It's 200X, uh? it's cheaper. Oh, it's 1,000 cheaper. $1,000 cheaper. <laughs> this is a cheaper bike. They will make peace now. You have been riding this bike for how long already? Uh, I would say about 8 months plus. I got ah. this one in uh, something of December mm -hmm. last year. Wow. After I passed my TP, I just went to the shop. I want to get this bike. There was a few bikes that I was looking at. There was uh, there were three choices actually mm -hmm. for me. One was the ADV 150. Oh, okay. The second one was this one and then there will be an extra bike. Mm. The third one is actually the Tourism. Oh, which is okay. the second hand I want to get. Uh -huh. I didn't get the tourism because most of the mileage are crazy. 100k plus, there was one mm. I saw was 200k plus. Mm -hmm. But the price is good. Then I decided, I think I want something which is new, something which I would trust the most. My colleague said 200s. Mm. He saw one on the road, he mm -hmm. said, it looks good, it looks nice, it looks better than the tourism. So that was my second choice. My main choice was the ADV 150, but there's a few problem. One, it's too small for me. Oh. I'm tall. I'm, yeah. one, one, I'm like 187 cm. Like, oh, I'm like, my, so my, my leg will longer the panel and the handlebar. Oh. So, ADV 150 and Max Air Rocks cannot fit me. Oh, Air Rocks oh. is the worst compared to a point where I like, don't know. Like, like really, this one? Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Actually, like, like, don't know, like, like jockey style. Really, uh, almost. <laughs> I'm like, no, cannot. Comes to this. Second choice is this one. Mm. Then, after that, they come up the 150X. Yeah, and then, 150X. after that, the next one is the CRF 190L. Uh -huh. mm. So, those are the three bikes. Now I'm thinking that, okay, I want to see what's the difference. CRF 190L, I was loved by the design of the front. Mm -hmm. Then when I look at the back, oh my goodness gracious. So ugly. ugly. Uh, and also it's drum brake also. For me, I just feel it's not safe for me. Mm. But I know it's a good bike. But that's that I, it's the most expensive one out of mm. the three. I think it's like 19,000. Oh, the CRF. Ah. It was okay. more expensive than, I think 2,000, 3,000 more than this one. The uh, 150S is 1,000. More expensive than this bike. Uh. I was shocked about it. I said, huh? 150S so expensive. I don't get it. I thought it should be more cheaper. Because they, yeah. they, share, mm. they share the same engine. Ma. Yeah. yeah, that's right. Uh. They, I think because it's cheaper because uh, maybe same engine. I mean, come on. If you see this in engine, look at this. Very familiar. You yeah. go to BBDC, you go to SSDC, you see this engine, you'll know what <laughs> engine this one came from. Shared engine with the CB190R, CBF190X, CB190X, CRF190L, CB190SS, CBF190TR, SRE190. Ah, TR, ah, yes. Australia. Yeah. I heard of it before. You know, I have a name for this engine, no? Notorious 190. Engine. <laughs> I think you all know why lah. Yes. Yeah. Basically, you know, you look at your iPhone, right? The below they say design California, made in China. <laughs> this one, design in China, made in India. <laughs> because this is for India. Yes. The bike, the whole bike is for India. Basically, this bike is a Honda 2.0, but they removed the whole thing. They strip it naked, then they put this flare in. I think they use the same thing as this uh -huh. one. Mm. I mean, so they remove, they only just change this one, change the, the whole thing. The yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. then, there you go, and the windshield. So they, they change the cover set. Yes. Of the Hornet, and then they put this one. So mm -hmm. it should be Hornet 2.5. <laughs> Hornet 2.5. Actually, they can change to Hornet 2.0 uh, ADV or something, <laughs> or something like that, or touring or something like that. Yeah. But although in India they call it as the adventure touring bike, but mm -hmm. I find this one to be not adventure touring bike. <laughs> Which is a bit weird because they, in India they call it adventure tour. Basically, people were thinking that this rival of this 200S is the 150S, but it's actually the rival is actually the X Pulse 200, mm, yes, correct. which uh. is the adventure-looking bike that is like scrambler. For what I heard from you, you say that in India you didn't see much of these two bikes. Ah, oh, correct. I never see these two bikes. Yeah. But that is at Ladakh lah. Mm -hmm. But I'm not sure about the other regions. Uh. Yeah. Maybe in the big major cities they have more of this. Mm, maybe, yeah, maybe. Maybe yeah. our fans in India 
who are watching this maybe you can give your comments put your comments in the yeah. in comments below and then tell us how's the population mm. of this bike in India. Yeah. Yes. I think that would be a good idea and also uh, please uh, I want cheaper stuff uh. my crash bar where how to get to Singapore <laughs> and uh, windshield also I'm still waiting for the windshield excuse me waiting. you put on the website right so out <laughs> and then say so out they're like waiting for what <laughs> so for yourself you experience problems with accessories accessories uh. is a big problem uh. so I just try to do what I can do uh. the one from here mm -hmm. yeah. I get it from Shopee there's what? one they know the panel the, the prevent it from slugging your what is this yes. uh -huh. so I did yeah. this uh, metal rod so it prevent it from oh. the back bones mm. is this a universal part or a uh, universal unfortunately mm. so I get it from Shopee I think it's like what 20 uh, 30 dollars I think so this one of course uh, you know where you get this lock, quad lock quad common lock. one famous quad lock yeah. famous quad lock moto uh. world uh. This one from Candy Moto, okay. normal USB. Okay. Then this one is the fault light from Candy Moto also. This crash bar, right? Uh, crash bar I is... get it from this Telegram group. We call it the 200X slash 150X. Group, mm. right? Yeah, it's, it's a group together. It's, mm. it's a very small group, it's about 100 people, mm -hmm. somewhere around there. Okay. So I managed to get this one from one of the guy who was signing away. The lucky ones. Any 200 ads, uh, don't come to me. Uh. I saw, I saw online. Uh, I saw on the group there. I first to get it. Uh. <laughs> yeah. So many people are asking for it. So, mm -hmm. Okay. So this is the crash bar full assembly like that lah. Uh, yeah, it's full assembly, but I had to install it myself. Mostly the fault light, I asked somebody to do for me ah. Mm -hmm. The go to the candy motor there, but they don't want to talk about it. Yeah, a bad experience. Uh, uh some, some something bad experience, like that lah. Yeah. But after that, I go off camera. Yeah. Uh. Then after that, I go to a guy in Yishun. He get me a fuse mm -hmm. to connect to there, and it's better. When I put in my key ah, on it, I. The whole thing on. So they connect the fault light to the battery straight away. Yeah. So they did not do any proper wiring. La. They did mm. proper wiring, but that's that. I think the fuse, right? Very small fuse. La. This bike mm. has a very small fuse, so it doesn't have much stuff. So I think he put over there. La. No mm. choice. La. I see, I see. I go get a proper fuse and then it sounds much better. Quite happy with it. Wow. The accessories for this is very hard, difficult. Mm. Windshield, just to let you guys know, you can yeah. use a 310 GS. But you have to modify the 310 GS, the windshield. To put but holes. yes, drill holes. But I won't recommend you to do it because yeah. if you try to turn, you see, notice that there's a gap. Yes, correct. So you can turn. But with the 310, this is how much you can turn. Oh. It's big. It's somewhere around here. So you only can turn like this, you see? Oh. Very little. So you can't turn fully. You only can turn like somewhere around here. So I know some people in Singapore, they do that. Mm. But for me personally, I find it's not recommended. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. So that's why I keep to this and then let's get a extender. That's the reason why the I get side that. Saddles also. Uh, that one from Racing World, mm -hmm. if I'm not mis uh, Racing World. Kappa. Yeah, Racing World. Oh, yeah, Kappa. And then the chicken. Yeah. Oh, I, yeah. Get, <laughs> so I get from, uh, okay, you can get at any shopping center. <laughs> Go to any place, you can find this. During our East West Loop, I saw this chicken and was like, hey, it's so fun. <laughs> 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 also, and I was thinking, hey, hey, I want to put one on my hip. On my scooter also lah. As a matter of fact, <laughs> Serious? I got for you one. Here you go. <laughs> wow, power lah. Now you can put your scooter. <laughs> <laughs> this is so annoying. <laughs> no, you want to know why I put this one? Oh, why? Because uh, my workplace there, tell my job right? My job is actually, I um, work as an equestrian instructor. So mm. I teach people how to ride horse. So I park my bike. Horse at the side of the yes, bike. sticker. I park my bike oh, usually at the back, and then some of the kids they see my bike. Like, oh, they want they sit on it because it's a lower seat compared to other people bike, right? So minus the ten seven hundred, which uh -huh. is quite high. Pager, if you are seeing this, mm -hmm. please can you? I want you to oh, review the ten seven hundred. Please, come, come. please. Come. Get in touch. I want him. yes. Or oh, at Dom, uh, you want the you want the new pouncer to can also. Can. Dom, you also another one. Go also. <laughs> I won. For Edward, eh? The story for this one is all the kids sit on my bike, they mm. like to play with my bike. Because mm. why? Oh, got the double ducky. Got the duck at uh, first. Uh, yes, correct. Then they're all playing the bike, they, they test the duck, everything. So I'm like, okay, why not try something different? So I go get the chicken. Uh. <laughs> and everybody, in, when I was stopped at the traffic light, everybody keep looking at me like, why this joker got this chicken? <laughs> <laughs> you put chicken. Chicken. <laughs> That's why. People are like, Got one person, yeah. I think that was in the checkpoint at the Malaysia side. The guy was like saying, what's this? I was like, oh. <laughs> he laughed inside. <laughs> and then there's one time, I think in the immigration, the Singapore side, I think it was a Cisco officer. It was yeah. a lady, she said, hey, got chicken. <laughs> <laughs> then I go past and I go like this. So, so much. Exercise, yeah. yeah, so fully exercised. Exercise. Yeah, uh, but like very limited, basically. Mm. So this bike, very limited. If you look at 150X, because you are 
mostly seen in I think Indonesia. There has a lot of stuff in Shopee. Mm. They even got crash bar, slider, everything. Ah, this bike has a slider without the crash bar, and they also have this something like yours, the, 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 the old pipe one, the old yeah, pipe style. Crash bar also, yeah. 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 Now, fun fact: this bike in Singapore and in India. Mm. Where else in this country have this bike? China. I don't know, Brazil. China has it. Brazil doesn't have it. Southern America I'll don't say have it. Asia side. Oh, Asia. Oh, okay. Uh, uh, I don't know. Maybe, Maybe Laos. Uh, Pakistan. Uh. No. Japan has this one. Taiwan has this one also. Oh, okay. Apparently, when you review this bike, I was looking at the bike already. Before that, I was like thinking of what, what bike to get. Every time I see it's all India, India, India review. Then suddenly I see, eh, Japan. So I look at the review. Somebody in Japan has this bike. Okay. But that guy also has the tourism also. In Japan also had tourism also. He also had tourism and this one. How do you get to know that Taiwan also got? I was just, I was like searching through, searching through. Uh, then when you come out the two hundred S, then suddenly on the column got one two hundred S. Then look at, I'm going Chinese wording. Then look at it from Taiwan. Like, Taiwan eh? traditional Chinese lah. Ah, oh, I'm shocked mm. about it. Say, like, eh, they also have this bike also. I was surprised mm. about it. But I wish I this bike I has more accessories. In China they have this one. But they didn't no get accessories. No uh, much accessories yeah, for this. Uh? That's the only downside of the bike is just accessories. Yeah, accessories lah. But in mm -hmm. terms of performance in terms of handling for 2B not too bad the only thing that I wish right uh, Honda India so if you see this review right yeah. please uh, can you put a 6 gear please I want a 6 gear uh, in fact I also had the same thought you know when I got the tourism I was like why only 5 gears uh? if it is 6 Sorry. gear right so, at least it will yes. be more fuel efficient more fuel efficient and also at least less vibration mm. if I go at 5th gear at the maximum top gear the rev can go up to about nine, same as yours, 9,000. Oh. Once I get 9,000, I get about 125 km per hour. The whole bike, it doesn't shake at all. It's just the vibration of an engine, right? it really like, you know, vibrate mm. your hand. That's the reason why I struggle a bit. Mm -hmm. And also the noise. And mm -hmm. it eat up the fuel a lot because you're going at the max. The range I can get, uh, if I go 125 all the way, uh, the time I did the east-west loop, mm. I got about 340, 320, something like that. But Wonderful. if I go about 110 and about your speed are 90 km per hour. Uh, 90 actually I can get about 560, 570. Mm -hmm. Then uh, if I go 110, about 500. The range is quite good. Fuel efficiency is very good. The only thing is that I wish you have 6 gears. Then you yeah. save more fuel. So the sound so. You go at 6,000, not much noise. Mm. Once you go to the man, ah! <laughs> they start to make noise. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're screaming at you, like, you know, the, you can hear the volume go start to go yeah. up, 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 the screaming yeah. start to get yes, louder yes. and louder. 8,000, 8,000, 8,000, then it will start to make noise. Eh? It starts yeah. to scream at you, like, don't torture me, and then you just keep going, <laughs> keep going. It's my slow, I keep going, I keep 125. <laughs> you know, 25, you whack. Yeah. I, I, I whack 125, 126. I, I'm actually uh, surprised, you know, when I was leading the convoy, especially for the 2B riders, right? I was going at 100, 110. There are times I, I was going at 120. Yes. Then I see you still be able to catch up, oh, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You can catch up with you, you know. No, I can catch up. Uh, and because on my tourism, I still scared, scared to go above 110, you know. Knowing my bike's too well, right, I try to control my speed, my speed you yeah. know, until like 100, maybe 110. Yeah, 110, because yeah. Because at 150, I already feel like this bike, uh, like, cannot... to, you feel like uh, a bit like shaking that kind of thing. Uh, my tourism was like telling me, please, I don't want to go any faster. <laughs> that happened to you during the review, right? It was like saying that about 90, then you feel like the bike is screaming at you, yeah. right? Mm. Yeah, Correct. something like that. But for me, I'm okay with I can tahan the, the screaming, but once I go 125, uh, you can hear the screaming getting even louder mm. and louder. Oh, you're not scared, man. I'm okay. Uh, yeah. Actually, I'm worried, bike, uh, worried bike, about you. you know? yeah. <laughs> but this bike was okay. If yeah. you go to Malaysia, you, you had to go fast because you know, uh -huh. a, lot, a lot of the trucks will... The Kill us you. Yes. Mm -hmm. So that's why, <laughs> that's why I did 125. Uh -huh. But if I go in Singapore Road, 90, uh, just to let you know, uh, I go 90. How fast you go in Singapore? But I think this one Singapore Road, no issue. La. No issue. Mm. No problem at all. Ah, the tyres. Stop tyre for this one. Good on dry weather. Mm. Go on a bit of off road. I did a bit of off road in my old workplace. Mm -hmm. okay. I mean, my workplace uh, before they. It's a dirt moved. road, lah. It's part dirt road, got gravel, and then we go on the grass also. Mm. On the wet, it's the worst. Oh. The tire is the worst for the stock tire. If you see on the road marking, there's this white color line, right? Uh -huh. You can feel yourself like going like sideways, sideways. Oh, okay. it's, I mean, it's that bad. Every tire, even my tourism, I change to Pirelli, Rosso, Michelin, Pilot. Like also that, yeah. face the same thing because it's that white marking is already yeah, so right, yeah. Uh, but slippery. that one was that one's worse. Mm. You it's terrible. So I go change to um, I was 
hoping to get the um, what's that, the road five, road six. Mm -hmm. But unfortunately, they don't have the size for this bike. Mm. Tire for this bike very limited also. Because of the unique size, right? Yes. So you only can get the S22, mm. very also three, and the Pilot Road two. Mine's a little bit different because mine is a BT39, mm. so it's completely different from the usual one. Mm -hmm. So I get a different tire because I don't like the Rosso three because it doesn't clear the water mm. much better. Oh. This one clear better. So it grips better. Yeah, it much mm, better. See, see, see. So that's why when the East West Loop, when mm -hmm. it was raining, I was like, I trust this tyre more than my old one. But so, the Rosso corner nice. nicer. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> I agree with you, because somebody did use the Rosso before, before he changed to, um, I'm jealous of him. Uh. <laughs> one of them is you, because you all, you have the tyre. <laughs> you need the D2. That's the one mm -hmm. that I dress us off. Mm -hmm. That's another tire that I, like, I want to take. But okay, okay. Next time, huh? Next time. Uh, Class 2A. So, Class 2A, yeah? <laughs> Class 2A. Yes. So, okay, in your experience maintaining this bike, mm -hmm. how is it? Not too bad. I didn't have any problem whatsoever. The only problem I have, the engine. I got no major problem, only minor one. The mm. O-ring of the neutral switch, which is inside here, this plastic thing, the O-ring degraded very fast. When I got this bike, one month later, I go to the shop, they say, hey, your, this one is leaking. So they take out this panel, then they check, check, check. Coming from there, mm -hmm. and you take out, they say, "Oh, your O-ring disintegrated." Mm. Become like, 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 I don't know how to say. It, like when you touch it, it's like very funny. It just, it just, it's, breaks just break apart. Yeah. Really. Again, Honda India, please ah, uh, check your O-ring uh. But actually, I won't blame them. Actually, this one I won't blame because yeah. different environment. Yeah. In Singapore, the humidity, yeah, of course, the rubber will start to higher, yes, right? it's much more higher. Other than that, this bike, good. But you mentioned that. The engine actually eats up the engine oil, right? Oh yeah. <laughs> same as the tourism also. Mm -hmm. Basically, they share the same engine. Well, some sort of share is mm -hmm. actually... It's the same engine. Nah. Designed in China, made in India, basically. <laughs> so, same thing. It does eat up the engine oil. Mm -hmm. When I did the east-west loop, I come back, only left with very little. Mm. Oh my god. So I also don't know how I managed to do it. But I remember I, I, I did... I was thinking, I've got to eat out so much. Like, oh yeah, I remember. You did have the same problem before. Yeah. Because they say that the 190 engine will eat up the engine. I, I actually faced the similar issue during our first trip to Thailand. Yes. At Mesot. Then I realised, I open up the engine, right? The mm -hmm. dipstick, I see, hey, dry, sir. Eh? So lucky, wow. good thing I have a bottle of engine oil with me. So I just top up. Then I make my move. Ah. But having said that, this engine still works even though it's like very little oil left. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, it's dangerous lah. It's yeah. also not not good for the engine, but still okay. hardy enough. Mm -hmm. But in my CB 190X chat group, right, some of them complain about this engine mm. has camshaft problem. Yeah, I do not I know. Heard, uh, I heard uh. about it, but this bike. So far, I checked on the group chat, everything, right? They so far, okay, right? No, none. I think the only thing that they have was the same problem as what I have, the, that part. Mm -hmm. There was so, one time I had, to, uh, I had to explain to him that this part is uh, the problem. The guy yeah. also got it new, so actually, his one lasts longer than mine. Mine is only one month. He's on two months already, then got that problem. <laughs> mine, one month only. Keep licking, licking, licking until mm -hmm. before the east west loop, then I asked them to change the O ring. Mm -hmm. Then I, I changed see. that one, I also changed the tire one month, and I changed this one three days before it happened, and then changed the engine three days or so before mm -hmm. we go to the east west loop okay. no, I, so, never, I never really said this lah, but then i'm not really a fan of the cb190 series of bikes lah, because mm -hmm. of this lah. the engine is really notorious lah. they yeah. always say that yes yeah. and then with the lack of accessories in mm -hmm. malaysia especially yeah in thailand also doesn't have it right? uh, thailand doesn't yeah. have it so only, only in singapore only. singapore or china uh, in my personal opinion this engine is not meant for yes. high speed. Mm. This engine is built for okay. more relaxed riding. Yeah. Re relaxed, relaxed long riding, distance riding. Uh, long distance riding, yes. yes. Uh, but for speed, this engine doesn't have that capacity to go faster, faster yeah. like compared Master, to if the... you want to go speed, just go under the MT-15, ah, yeah. all the... So, so even the cup drive also can be faster than this fellow. So Yamaha, the 155 series engine, uh, they are really built for speed. But I wish I uh, Yamaha also again. Uh. <laughs> Yamaha, if you make a mini tracer, I go change my bike. <laughs> I want I want a mini tracer because Yamaha doesn't have any towing. Only I see Honda. That's it. Yeah. The end. Mm. <laughs> Even Suzuki come out with the V-Strom 250cc. Yes, correct. But unfortunately mm. not 200cc. Yeah, la, that's why. If we have a license that goes from 2BI, two, two go up to 250 I won't feel sure. Because it doesn't maximize. Because this one, CC-wise, right, you see the 200, uh, 
Fake, it's misleading. Fake one, uh. misleading. This time not 200, uh. they should put 184. Uh. 184.7 uh, or 3, I forget. Uh, 184cc. Yeah, they, they didn't even put 190 or something. Yeah, that's why. <laughs> no, they can't put 190. Not yeah. clash with the, the uh, tourism, really. I think oh, yeah. I, yeah. I think Zontes is the one uh, that really threw to the number. Uh. Yes. If it is 310, it's almost there. It's 309, 308, something like that. There's right? some difference, but I don't know how many. I think 15 or something. Some, some people ask me, is this 200cc? I say, no, that's not 200cc. I'm so embarrassed. I say, no, that's not 200cc. That's 24cc. <laughs> mm -hmm. Would you recommend this bike to other people? I would say yes and no. Uh, because there's a lot of these touring bikes. There's so many options. You can get this one or you can get the 150S. I don't know whether the 150S is faster than this one. I'm not too sure about it. Mm. Because I never tried that before yet. It's a bit talky. Eh? It's a bit talky, yes. But yeah. if you want something a bit taller, a bit more like, you know, like look a bit more like adventure, 150S. Mm. But you want something mm. a bit more relaxed mm. and less accessories, well, less accessories. Mm. Tor X, I have to say the Tor X wins in terms of design. It tries to complement the range of 400X, 500X. Mm. So design one and then they name it 200X just to complete the <laughs> yes, family. Yeah. Mm. But I think the 150S is like, it's a very nice design, I would say. It's not too bad design. But I wish they put a kill switch. I think uh, it would be better. Yes, I think yeah. that would be better. No kill switch, no. Uh, no ABS also. This one has ABS, front ABS. No signal also. No hazard, sorry. No hazard, yeah. This one has a hazard, this one has a kill switch. Mm -hmm. And it has an ABS. But the ABS really helps me a lot. Really, this bike mm. saved me a few times. If you look at the side, if you look over here, I did hit a truck before once. Oh, okay. From the side view. Oh, this one? Um, no, I think I was fine. The I hit the, you know, the metal wheel. Uh. Yeah. This is what happened. So you can, mm. if you look over here, you can see a bit of scratch mark. That's for because you see from the truck. Oh. But the guy uh, didn't say anything because he didn't. First thing he, he didn't hear. He didn't hear. Yes. It's a big truck lah. It's. I think it's a lorry. It's a small lorry. Oh, it's the, a pickup lah. For those people who put, sit at the back and uh -huh. the the uh -huh. that kind of thing. Yeah. Some, oh, that kind okay, of truck. Okay. But that one was, I think part. Honestly, it was partly my fault because I didn't see properly. Then I saw the guy stop. Yeah, like uh, look at that. Is he see going go? Then suddenly he he didn't move at all. Then I. Saw, I Jam break, but lucky this one. Uh, so you can fit the ABS. Yes, it, uh. it saved me a lot. Then mm. in the light up, uh, the ABS light up came on. Wow. So it did save my life. But yeah, I was so concerned about this one. I was like, look at that. Oh my goodness. Oh, your baby. <laughs> no, no, no. no, 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 no. It's, the hazard, is, the signal is it. Yes. Handle bar protectors. Huh? Yes. Imagine if this one break, uh, wow. Okay. <laughs> Actually, yeah, that's why I don't like this bike, you know, because uh, the signals are is integrated. Yes, I wish they put over here. Ah, yeah, lor. Yeah. Then it will be like the CV, yeah, the not, 150S or the 400S also, ah, because they put, right. they put over here. But don't why they put over here. Stylo, ma. Actually, they should put over here. If they put over here. I think this will be a good bike. Already. Mm. I won't say it's a good or bad bike. I'll say in between. If only they have made a few changes, like the. Mm -hmm. Six, six years, years please. Improve the oil. Yes. Con the 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 yeah. engine. Engine oil, yeah. yeah. The engine oil, uh, the e up. It really mm. e up quite mm. a lot. More accessories. But how many kilometers uh, we did the east west loop? 17? The total is a uh, one thousand seven hundred. 1,700 kilometers. Uh. Yeah, I was surprised uh, that all that. the way and then, yeah, because when I do like normal servicing, like about 3,000, I think this one up to 3,000, right? Mm -hmm. Still got a lot of engine oil. But when I go for the East West Loop, I can't do like, like this, I was shocked. I was like, eh, why should I do so little? Because why? We were riding every all day. All the way, yes. Every day we were riding and we are riding at 200 kilometers distances, yes. you know, 200 kilometers stop, 200 kilometers stop, you know, I'll, so I'll that kind of yeah. uh, distance and yes. it's not like we are doing urban riding like 80, 90 kilometers per hour, yeah. you know, so we are highway riding at 120 for 200 kilometers stretch, yeah. so that is the, that is why probably we'll eat up until like a little bit. Oh, are you going to get your class 2A soon? Yeah, 2A, then that's... Okay, uh, then for the four hundred, yeah, CB four hundred S, please don't pester me also again, uh. Especially uh, who is it? I'm uh, Sharul. Sharul, uh, Sharul, don't don't pester me, uh. <laughs> Please, uh. He already then, has his eye on the Tosontes T three fifty, yeah. <laughs> and then everyone all kids say, do four hundred S, four hundred S, four hundred S, and then also the what I call him the lighthouse. What's his name? Uh? What's his name? Uh, Sharul. Sharul, yeah. Sha, 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 Sha. Also, please, uh. Don't poison he, him. Uh. Yeah, he always poison me to add me add extra for light over here. Eh. He's trying to poison me. I say cannot lah. They cannot Who to la. put? It can only be one Christmas bike. Uh, <laughs> one Christmas or one lighthouse? One house. Well, there can be only one lighthouse. I'm calling the lighthouse. <laughs> You'll know why. <laughs> he light up the world. Literally will light up the world. This one, the fuel efficiency how? 
quite good. I think it's full tank, on 500 paper, kilometers. I 57. Oh. When I check the meter, I, I once I, I get 90 kilometers all the way uh, until hit the reserve, right? It will mm. start to blink, right? I get about 600. Eh, hey, good eh? 600. Yeah. My tourism also? Oh, my tourism, good. I got 550 on the full tank. Oh. Full to the brim. If I if I go empty, I think this one can go a bit more, but I didn't want to go all the way to the... You want to risk it lah. Yeah, you yeah. want to risk it. Sure. So once I hit until the wizard blinking, I go to you know my workplace at Kranji, so you should know where I go to pump. Very simple. <laughs> 38 bumps. <laughs> Every once a week, 38 bumps, 38 bumps, 38 bumps. So, go there. Even the guys on Shell also recognize like, okay, he usually use card. They see me, they show me like walkie-talkie. Ah, uh, use card uh, straight away. Eh? And I always go to the same pump station, mm. number 17. Ah, okay, always okay. number 17 or 21. <laughs> there are no one. Your so, routine, my routine eh, itself. Do you have a name for him? For her? Or it's what? It's a he actually. Ah. He, eh? It's named after a horse. Albert. Oh, oh, oh Albert. Uh, his horse. <laughs> no, he's real life horse. Real life horse, but retired to Holland. So, you name this horse in Unfortunately, memory it's of... not the correct color. I wish it's brown. <laughs> he's brown. Right? It's actually brown. <laughs> so, all. Uh, in horse term, it's called bay. In the human terms, it's called brown. So, this is the closest. This la. is grey color. But if I want to get the Zontes 350, uh, I want uh, almost black color. Almost mm. black color. Yeah. So you name then it. Then I'll name it after another horse. Oh, I thought you want to name Albert too. <laughs> Albert the second. Albert the second. Nah. They only have one Albert, this one second Albert, third one the year. What's your best memory with it? With Albert here? Yeah. Okay, so the first memory I had is when I get my bike. Uh -huh, okay. I go to the shop there, uh, nice. I see the bike parking outside, I was like, uh, that must be mine. Go there, sign people, everything, come out, rain. <laughs> Call that bike, rain. Then, today, rain. Uh, rain. Review, rain. Uh, right. Same thing, same mm. story. So, uh, the second memory I really love is uh, the tortoise one. The first tortoise um, one. That's where I come. That's yeah, where I first yeah. met you guys. That was the first one. Then, uh, second one was the Octo Exchange. Then, tortoise one. Mm. The East first look. East ah, first look. You really wet this bag. Eh? I really wet. To its fullest potential. Eh? Yes. First and foremost, uh, Edward, uh, oh, I have to say this is a good review. Yep. He talked the most. Uh, and we provide him a platform for him to share. Yes. Uh, so hopefully, you, if you guys are intending to get the Tonro X, or maybe are eyeing on this bike, the owner himself has said it. It's a very good bike, <laughs> but like I say, if you want to relax, you want something a bit long distance, mm. this one or the 150X. Mm. You want something which is speed, no question about it, and you want fine. Or if you want to, you go get the Honda Wave for second. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, no, wait, uh, Yamaha or Sushan, the Y15 or. Why suku? Uh, why suku? Yeah, there you go. You can get that one. They, they even faster than my one also. Sniper. <laughs> <with the fire. laughs> they go faster than me. They I got go six gears. Yeah. Yeah. No, no, no. They don't have no, six gears. Yeah, they, they are. I think this new sniper. Nah, they, yes. Why sixteen? Why sixteen? Yes. Six years. Yeah, six years. They go. You can go faster than me. They literally have zoom. <laughs> <laughs> they learn it also. They go even faster than me. Yeah, it's okay lah. It's a commuter bike. Yes. It's meant to do what is. Hmm. Made for, it is what it is. What else you want? Uh, I just want Yamaha to please make a tracer. <laughs> please, mini tracer. Mini tracer 2A. Yes, 2A. No, 2A tracer. 2A tracer, yes. 2B, 2A. 2B, 2A, and then 2A we have a But I like the I like the GT Plus. Uh, the one with the TFT display. That oh, one. Your new I, one. Uh. The mm. new one, I love I see on it, I love so it. So now we know why he's going to update it. No, uh, <laughs> talking about that, my 2A dream bike. Uh, uh, talking about that, uh, uh, I got a few. You know already. SADV, mm. that's one of them. Tracer, I was thinking about the Multistrada, mm -hmm. thinking Oof. about it. There's one more bike which I've been eyeing for a while, mm. which is a Super Tenere. There's another oh, one. Oh, Shamil's bike. Shamil bike. The one is the old, old Tenere, old uh, Super Tenere. Tenere uh. I think they got a new one or uh, something like that. The Tenere 700. Uh. The 700, that one my, my boss using it. Uh. Ah. That one, please, I, I want with you. Uh. <laughs> uh, huge thanks to Edward for coming out and sharing his bike. He's one of our biggest fans, by the way. Eh? Uh -huh. Yeah, so really appreciate you. No yeah, problem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. No problem. Yeah. And thanks for the chicken. Huh? <laughs> so you guys like this T-shirt, right? This is the latest Tamba Overlanders jersey that we have come up with. You can always check out our Shopee page uh, to make this purchase. Coming soon. Uh, coming soon. Uh, coming soon. Uh, all right. We'll be selling it in MBW. Uh. That's it for the vlog, and we'll see you guys in the next one.